Broken Moon is brand new in Apex Legends, and this video will help you guys to dominate in Apex Legends Season 15. From various drop spots to fit your playing style, to rotations and overall play style, this video will help you to win more games on Broken Moon and rank up quickly. First and foremost, let's cover some general points that you need to keep in mind while playing Broken Moon. This map is completely unique from any other map in Apex Legends. First off, you need to pay attention on where the power zip buildings are located throughout the map. If you're looking to win your game or rank up, you need to avoid fighting at these locations. These fast zips throughout the map allow for quick maneuvering and rotating throughout the map, and you will find that teams generally end up all approaching these locations. That goes the same with the large middle portion of the map called Promenade. If you're looking to win your game and stay alive, try and rotate around this place or through this place as quickly as possible and make sure your abilities are off cooldown and ready to use in case you need mobility or other maneuvers to escape confrontation. These places discussed are where tons of third parties happen, so on the flip side, if you're trying to drop high kill games and potentially get your first 20 kill game or 4k damage badge, I highly recommend that you land somewhere early off the dropship that is a high traffic location and then rotate quickly to promenade and these other zip towers to find as many teams and enemies as you can. Secondly, the POIs on this map are a little different than other maps like Kings Canyon for example. A lot of the drop locations on this map are so big that you don't need to worry as much if another team is landing at your named location. There's plenty of loot a lot of the time on these POIs for multiple teams at each of these landing spots on Broken Moon. Another key point to keep in mind is recognizing surrounding POIs from where you are landing and taking note where the power zips lead. For example, if you're landing at Dry Gulch, you need to keep in mind that if teams are landing at Production Yard or Breaker Wharf, there are direct zip trails from those POIs, meaning if you're too preoccupied in an early fight at your location, you can easily get third partied from one of those two locations. On the flip side, if you do want to drop high kill games, this is critical to know the path for quick rotations. For high kills, you could try to land at Dry Gulch early on, and if a lot of enemies land at Breaker Wharf, you could always clean out your landing spot and then quickly rotate to third party for easier kills with those fast zip lines. Now moving on to some other quick details, before we hop into specific drop spots, long range is meta, meaning weapons like the G7 and other marksman rifles can be really important to your success, especially in ranked. If you can't get a knock to open up the fight in ranked, it's probably not worth it since teams can move about this map extremely quickly with the zip lines. Valk is still a popular pick and is exceptional at traversing the map even with the zip line. Just like any Apex meta, movement is key. Being able to take height or reposition is crucial on this map due to constant elevation changes, meaning legends like Horizon, Valkyrie, Pathfinder, Vantage, Ash, all of these legends do a great job with mobility and taking height. So if you're struggling to win fights because of poor low ground positioning, try some of these legends out. Moving on, let's talk drop spots. Obviously the location of the drop ship plays a big role in hot drops, but the earlier the drop, usually the more hot your location will be. If you're looking to drop hot, Terraformer, Production Yard, Cultivation, those are some of the best POIs to drop to. And these places can support multiple teams with loot as well. If you want a medium drop, try landing at the Eternal Gardens, the Divide, or the Core. These areas have smaller buildings, but they still have lots of loot and you'll have some engagement opportunities. And then lastly, if you're new to the game and you're looking to have nobody around you when you drop, maybe consider Breaker Wharf or Backup Atmo. Going into some more detail regarding some specific locations on Broken Moon, Terraformer's central position mean it attracts a lot of squads at the start of the match. The central tower is surrounded by multiple buildings and it plays out sort of a king of the hill style location that encourages squads to head to the tower when they're ready to fight. If you want to dominate here, control that high ground and that hill as soon as possible. Breaker Wharf. Not everyone wants to head to a drop location that's super hot at the start of a match and Breaker Wharf is a solid option who wants a slower paced game in Broken Moon. Breaker Wharf is 
is the location that's in the far north corner of the map. This POY contains two parallel structures that are packed with verticality and loot. This is perfect for medium range gunfights for the other squad. And I really appreciate this place. It kind of reminds me of like a Halo style battleground, which, you know, I really do appreciate being a Halo fan and all. And while landing at POYs on the outskirts of other maps like Kings Canyon, World's Edge, Olympus, Storm Point, often your games are going to be boring, but this isn't really the case for Broken Moon thanks to those zip rails. The zip rails allow for easy rotations out of the Breaker War to the next POI where you can find some more enemies. Next up, Eternal Gardens. Hands down, one of the most beautiful POIs on the map, Eternal Gardens is a vast open space that does force players to take more longer range gunfights. So if you're more of a long range fighter, then try landing here early game. You're going to have lots of open space to maneuver and to try to pick shots with some marksman rifles, some snipers. Eternal Gardens also has the only jump tower on Broken Moon, so if a fight starts to take a turn for the worst, don't be afraid to make an escape with the rest of your squad with that jump tower. Lastly, we have Perpetual Core. Similar to the Terraformer, Perpetual Core is another POI for aggressive players who aren't afraid of taking on multiple squads. If you're looking for a 20 bomb badge and the ship is dropping close to Perpetual Core, then head straight in for some chaos. And there's also a high chance for high tier loot and upgraded armors located in the very center of the core. So that rounds it off some of my favorite landing spots for Broken Moon. Whether you're a super experienced player or a beginner Apex Legends player, I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite drop location and are you liking the brand new map in Apex Legends? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for future content i have tons of other videos planned so stay tuned and if you want to master catalyst for season 15 then be sure to check out this video here all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one i'm grizzy and i'm out peace